What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about where, when, and how you can buy New York Comic Con Funko Pops, as well as we're gonna be talking about the Fright Night Drop event and what you need to know for that. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to our second video of the day. Today we're going to be talking about the shared retailer guides and how, when, and where you can buy these Funko Pops. Now we're also going to be going over the Fright Night event. There is going to be a box of fun, just like fun days, that you can buy online as well as in person at the event that will be given away, but we'll jump into that a little bit later. So this is everything you need to know for the event if you're shopping the shared drop. We'll talk about Comic-Con in a second here, but for anybody who is not going to Comic-Con, make sure to listen. So over on October 7th, all of these exclusives are dropped on the Funko Shop as well as at their respective shared retailers that we're going to go over in a second at 6 a.m. PT. Now usually, just to let you guys know, usually it's not always at that time for the shared retailers. They like to do whatever they want. <laughs> Just to be honest, they like to do whatever they want, so it could be some kind of random time. But the Funko Shop is always at that designated 6 a.m. PT time that they do state. And usually the Funko Shop pretty much has everything you need in one central location. However, that one central location is where everybody's trying to get those exclusives. So if you're looking for a specific pop, I would personally recommend going to the shared retailer over Funko's website because it's going to be a free-for-all and a mess. And what I mean by free-for-all is this will not be a lottery situation. Just like uh, Funk on 2 that just happened recently, everybody's gonna be on the website at the same time. No lottery. I'm sure most of you guys know this, but for those who do not, just so you know, you can only get the shared sticker, the shared sticker, not the official sticker, on the Funko Shop. If you wanna get the official sticker, you actually physically have to go to Comic-Con and go to the Funko booth. Now, a quick tip I can recommend for Hot Topic and Box Lunch, at the very least, is make sure to follow your local one on Instagram. If you can't find it on Instagram, just search it up on Google and it should pop up, but they will post how much stock they have the rules, how much you can buy, and everything you need to know for that drop date. As far as all the other retailer stores, it's a little bit different. Maybe try to call them or go in store and ask one of the managers. And one more recommendation, guys, go early. Because for example, the One Piece Going Merry Luffy Pop is going to Hot Topic, and people will line up at midnight for this. I promise you, they will line up nine, 10 hours before the store opens. Like. No kidding. They will do it. So basically, if you're thinking about getting there early, get there earlier. For those actually going to Comic-Con in New York, I'm sorry to say there's not exactly a lot to tell you other than you actually have to have a badge to visit the Funko booth, and you actually have to win a lottery spot to be able to join in and buy the exclusives. Same thing as SDCC for those who went. You guys know the drill for that. But as far as the lottery situation, we don't know too much. Funko hasn't exactly given too many details, but when I find those out, you guys know I'll let you know. So for those going to the event, make sure to look out for that video. Now really quickly, we're gonna be going over the shared retailer guide, and this is everywhere you can buy the specific Funko Pop you're looking for. Now, if you're one of my international subscribers, whether you're in Canada or the UK or Europe or wherever, I want you guys to know I'm going to drop a link down below to the Funko blog and usually they put the shared retailers for international over there or make sure to go follow Funko Europe. There's just too many to list here and it'll take a while so I'd rather just put a link down below for you guys and make sure to look up your respective area. And just so you know if you're not in the United States you can't buy the exclusives over here. Now jumping into our shared list for the United States, we do have Box Lunch getting the Smee Moment, as well as Books A Million getting the Rubik's Cube, Chalice getting one of the Gokus with the uh, Kamehameha, we also do have a GameStop getting the Polaroid Picture, as well as the G.I. Joe exclusive and the Yu-Gi-Oh! 6 inch pop. Ooh. At least it's going to be fairly easy to get for the most part. They're also getting Cell and the Green Lantern Soda. Amazon is getting Red Superman as well as Uhtred. Also getting Anakin Skywalker. That's a pretty popular one. At least he's fairly easy to get though. As well as the Lady Liberty uh, Spider-Man exclusive. Toy Tokyo getting one of the Simpsons Pops as well as Professor Owl. Bora. And they're even getting both of the Gloomy Bear Pops. And the following exclusives are going to Funko.com. The shirt and mask as well as the two pack for Vecna. We do have both of the turtles. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Both of the turtles going to the Funko shop, as well as both of the Funko Leader sodas, Claire Bell Cow, Roger Rabbit, the Pop and Bag, which makes sense, that'll also be available on Loungefly, uh, Notorious B.I.G. They're also getting Steve from Blue's Clues, as well as Guy. They're also getting Itadori there, Yosemite Sam, Kaboom Clown, the little soda there of Grape Ape, as well as Nick Fury and the two Marvel sodas. It does look like FYE is getting the other Simpsons Pop, as well as Walgreens getting Aquaman there. Oh, that's going to be kind of hard to get. That's unfortunate. Target is getting the Parks and Rec, as well as Ted Lasso exclusives, Harry Potter, Groot, and Kayla. Reed Pop, of course, getting both mascots, the Pizza Rat and Pigeon, as well as Hot Topic getting the Going Merry. I'm kind of happy that Hot Topic is getting the Going Merry. That makes it fairly easy to get, which is awesome. Uh, not too easy, but 
much easier than most places, as well as getting the other Goku, which I'm really excited about that one, the two-pack from Oran Host Club, as well as Emperor Joker and the Crow Soda, Entertainment Earth getting Merida as well as Star Sapphire, and Walmart getting the remainder of the exclusives, and I'm really bummed that they're getting Swamp Fire from Ben 10. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's such a bummer! Oh, why do they have to get it? They got Super Sonic, now they're getting Swamp Fire. That's a bummer. Well, guys, that's our shared list for the United States. Let me know how you guys feel about it. The only one I'm really upset about is Swamp Fire, to be honest. The Turtles being Funko Shop, they're going to be a little difficult to get because they're definitely going to sell out. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with everything. Okay, guys, that's everything you should need to know about New York Comic Con 2022. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to drop them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Now, jumping into the Fright Night event, basically, it's fun days just... Fright Night at New York Comic Con. Now over at Fright Night, we will have this box available that will have three sodas and three pops per box. There will be one online as well as one given out at the actual Fright Night event that you have to purchase tickets for. And as far as those tickets, we don't have any information just yet, unfortunately. So again, once I find that out, I'll update you guys just like the lottery situation for New York Comic Con. Now as far as the box online drop, there's not really too much information about that either, but we should find out fairly soon about that. Just a few things you do need to know about this event. It will be held on October 7th, which is Friday of New York Comic Con. You do need a badge from New York Comic Con to actually purchase tickets for this. I'm not exactly sure why they're doing it this way, but that's how they're doing it. And just to let you guys know, they will be checking IDs and the tickets are limited to two per person. So if you're buying for your um, significant other, just know you can only buy two. Another big important thing is that they will be checking IDs. So make sure your ID matches your ticket. And lastly, nothing is being sold at this event. It's very similar to Fun Days, just a lot smaller, unfortunately. I think there's only like 400-ish tickets available from what I last read, something around that. Fun Days was around 2,500 people. I was lucky enough to attend Fun Days. It was a great event, and I would love to be able to go to this event this year as well. Though with only 400 tickets available, I'm not really gonna hold my breath on that, but it would be cool. Now that's everything you need to know about Fright Night. I'm sorry I don't really have much more information, but that's everything Funko has put out currently. All right, that's everything for this video. If you guys have any other questions about anything about this event, I will do my best to answer them down below, but just know I don't have all the answers, unfortunately. But feel free to drop your question down below. Now to end off the video, I do wanna say a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, links, updates, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 14 thousand members that's buy sell and trade and make sure to be following me on all my social medias all skittle rampage for more updates all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye